Hello. Hi everyone. Good evening. In the today's lecture, I would like to give you a brief overview on the expect which we are using. The reason is there are too many except statements are there. We need to know what exactly the significance of each and every command. Hence, I would like to show you a couple of examples on expect here. So the first one will start with except are usually used to verify something dot equals is a command to equal is a command which is used to verify the existence of a particular text so it means we are getting the text from a location and in order to verify that particular text we can use to equals method okay majority of the cases we usually use a to equals method in order to verify the count at a particular location or in order to verify a text at a particular location in order to verify title at a particular location we are going to use this to equals method and even in some scenarios what we can do means we can pass some text here we can retrieve the information and we can verify using a to contains a method. So this to contains is a method of which we are again using here to check out whether something is there or not. So majority of the cases we can go with the two equals to and in some scenarios we are going with the two contains with respect to text verifications. Okay, guys, with respect to the text verifications, we can go for either two equals to or two contains. For suppose, if we would like to verify certain objects, okay, if you would like to verify certain objects, then does the two equals to work? It's not going to work. Okay, two equals to is a command or two contains is a command of which we can use specifically in dealing with the text messages itself in order to verify with a certain objects whether a group of objects are there in a place or not whether a certain object is there or not a single object and a group of objects are there or not we are gonna use some other mechanism so we are gonna use a different mechanism in dealing with the objects so what are they so they are first one is a to be true the Okay, so this is the most important one, guys. So generally, we can use element dot all command to retrieve multiple objects from a page. So whenever we are retrieving a multiple objects from a page, I need to check out whether the existence of an object in a single run, all the objects in a single runs. I can use a to be true the method, which can be applicable for a collection of objects, which is a multiple objects and if at all you would like to verify a single object we can go for to be dot a true method which is used to verify the existence of a single object okay in order to verify the existence of a single object we can go for to be true and in order to verify the existence of a particular object from the list okay within a particular list if you would like to verify whether some object is there or not in such a cases we can go for is a displayed dot a to be true or we can get the text from a list using a to be true the itself or you can verify the existence of that particular object using a to be true the itself so here this is a particular command which we can use for multiple objects and for a single object we can use a to be true method in order to verify the existence of a particular object in a majority of the cases we are going to use a to be true the method in order to check out the existence of an object in a web page okay so this is a brief introduction about accept guys okay which we can implement in our programs